Or do you not know that your body is a holy temple from the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were brought with a price. So glorify God in your body. When I got this assignment, I was very excited. I, I finished my body collage, my body story, and I was happy with it. And then I, then I went to class and I saw everyone else's presentation, everyone else's body story, and everything in me wanted to just burst in tears. Every word, every gesture, every look was just taunting me because I, I told a story. I told a story and my project was done, but I didn't tell my story. Like those girls that presented, like they're so beautiful. Their bodies are so beautiful and it's, my story's not like that. <laughs> I wish my story could be beautiful like that, but it's 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 real. My story is real, and what I finished, what I said was my body collage, and what I completed and was gonna turn in was just lies. And it's it's not very hard for me to be convincing. Growing up, like I've. I've been acting, I've been in shows since I can remember, like literally since I can remember, I've been acting. So acting, lying, it's it's not very hard. But I don't know, this project, it's, I can't, I can't lie. It's It's my body, you know, I don't know, I have to. I have to tell the truth because it's my body. For a long time, for a long time, I hated my body. There was a time when I tried to give my body back to God. There, <laughs> hmm. And thankfully, he didn't allow me to do that. These... These are the hands that held the blade, that cut the flesh, and drew the blood of the girl who just wanted it to stop hurting. This is my body story. This is my body collage. My canvas is full of colors that some people can't understand. Full of colors that people can't understand. This is my story. When I became pregnant with Sharice, the doctor told me that it was a very dangerous pregnancy and that I should terminate it. I had fibroid tumors really bad. And I refused. I mean, it's life. And if the Lord, whatever the Lord had planned, I was ready for it. Because I totally trust in him. And I mean, everyone was saying, you need to terminate that. Sharice won't be born and if she, and you'll probably die. And, if she is born, she's going to be grossly, you know, handicapped or whatever. And other than being stubborn is I don't know what, she's fine. <laughs> uh, I was in, in bedridden for 10 months, giving birth and after, you know, having her. It was very rough. It was very hard. And I had other children to raise. But the Lord brought me through. And I'm glad I did. And that's a statement for other people. You know, you don't believe what everyone's telling you, you know, the doctors aren't always right. They're people just like us. And you have to have faith. And I'm glad I, I made that decision. Life, you know, is about life. Choose life. My body tells a story. It really does. You can like start at the top of my head and just journey all the way down to the bottom of my feet. And experience experience adventure education passion <laughs> uh, it's like um 
pain, love, dislike, strong dislike, and something, dun, 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 I don't know, I don't have a big finish, but, and you can experience some dun, 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 at the end of it, like at my pinky toe. And my pinky toe. <laughs> my hair. <laughs> a black girl's hair. Yes, I'm black. So my hair. Um, I have been thinking a long time about shaving my head. Not because I want to go all natural. Not because, you know, I'm trying to make a statement. But it's because my hair is annoying and I hate getting up and doing it. So... My mom said I can't shave my head until I move out the house. So for at least a couple years, I can't shave it. So when I don't feel like doing it, it's braided. Um, my body gets attacked sometimes by furry white balls of fur. This is Charlie. Say hi to the people, Charlie. Hi, people. Hi, I'm Charlie. Good job. And this is my big girl. This is my Bella. See hi, people. Sir Charles Nicholas Wilson III, Isabella Marguerite Wilson. My body is strong. I like this jacket because it makes me look like I have muscles. My eyebrows have a story because when I was younger, I had a great day. I guess I was like 10. I had such a great day. And I went home, and I took out some scissors, and I cut my eyebrows off. And it seemed like a really good idea until I walked out of the bathroom and looked at my mom, and she looked at me, and yeah. Um, didn't go well, didn't end well. My skin. I love my skin. My skin is yellow. At least that's what people tell me. I like to say it's caramel colored or bronze. But most of my friends say I'm yellow. Okay, so my teeth. <laughs> my teeth are fairly straight. I don't have very healthy teeth because I have a lot of cavities. Because when I was a kid, I ate a lot of candy. And when I say I was a kid, like up until, you know, yesterday, I ate a lot of candy and I have cavities all in, like, all of my back teeth. So my dentist doesn't like me very much, but we're working on that. Um, when I was younger, I had baby bottle syndrome and I lost my front teeth. And I didn't have them for years and I had a speech impediment and I talked like very weird. I'm like, hi, girl, how you doing? But I would really say, hi, how are you? And that's how it would come out, sadly. Um, but so then they came in. They came in this size, and I was, like, still young. And all the rest of my teeth were tiny, so I looked weird. And they had a huge gap, and I could just stick my tongue through it. Like, but I can't do that anymore, because I... Whatever. But I never had braces, and... They're fairly straight for not having braces, I would say. Uh, my tongue. Blah. I like sticking my tongue out at people. My mom says I shouldn't do it because it makes people think the wrong thing. My tongue is cool because it can do this. It's like a clover. And then I can do this. It's like a hot dog bun and it can do this I can touch my nose ha! it took me a long time to figure that out my hands are big I have really big hands for a girl but all the women in my family do it's they're huge like I could hold a basketball like that but it's good because if I ever fight somebody I have a big fist to to get them get them good we kind of have the same size hands. Mine are like a little bit bigger because I don't know. My forehead, my forehead. <laughs> I have a really big forehead. 
But it's not because, like, some people have big foreheads because they pull their hair back a lot. I've just had a big forehead, like, since I was a baby. I was a little baby with a humongous forehead. And my niece is the same way. Shout out Amaya. What's up, baby girl? Um, my forehead is just big. It's like a four-finger forehead. Possibly five. But it's okay, because I have bangs. <laughs> and that takes up for it. And big foreheads are the new trend. Big foreheads are the new skinny. Because skinny's out. FYI. I have a hint of a four-pack with a layer of belly fat on top of it. We're working on that. That is currently being worked on as we speak. Well, not right now, but at times. Sexiest part of my body, so I'm told, is my booty. I didn't do it. My feet, I have very pale feet. <laughs> yeah, my, my feet are pale. The palest part of my body, unfortunately. But it's okay, because I've, I've learned to embrace them and walk on them and dance on them and try not to mistreat them and shove them into skinny toe shoes but sometimes it happens my body is a masterpiece <laughs> my body is a masterpiece my body is a masterpiece my body I don't think my body is a masterpiece <laughs> But my body is a blessing from God. Do not let your adorning be external. The braiding of the hair and the putting on of the gold jewelry or the clothing you wear. But let your adorning be in the hidden person of the heart. With the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. Which in God's sight is very precious. So this is my body story. My body collage. There was a time when I hated my body. I now love my body for the imperfections, for the quirky things, for the beautiful things, for the... <laughs> for the things I'm not too sure about. I love it. Because it's mine and it's not mine. And that's what makes it beautiful. My body, my body collage. <laughs> this is my mom. Say hi, mom. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have to be serious. I am serious. <laughs> Let me get my tower back, guys. <laughs> What? It's not your body collage, it's oh. my body collage. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I can birth the 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 consonants. Wait. The oh I can birth my vowels. Um I'm not gonna do it now because I'm currently trying to be more ladylike. But we'll see by the end of the tape. Wait, hold on. <gasps> <laughs> My body has a fan club. <laughs> what a joy. <laughs> My body really doesn't have a fan club. I don't think I would want a fan club for my body. Oh, we can do this. <laughs> That freaks her sister out. Yeah, that's fun. So it's it's I have a I have a daughter and a friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when days are lonely and nights are long, I think of your laughter and your favorite song. I remember the wonderful. Times we share and all the ways you show me that you care. Ooh, Lord, please take away the hate. Take it up.
Take away the